the uh, new moon very exciting times to hone in on the energy of the universe and the new moon is a great time this one is a good manifesting one so it is a good time to do this technique that I'm going to take you through so as a peeps hop on if you have a pen and a journal you can grab that out because when you write things down that makes it even more powerful because you're putting it out into the universe hello Heidi yes so much positive energy sending to all of you coming on and hopping on so today I'm actually going to take you more in depth than what I normally do so normally it's just a manifesting technique this Oh, I'm recording this for YouTube too, so um, some people who miss it or can't stay for the whole live, if you're catching the replay on YouTube, awesome, let me know. Today, we're going to do a manifesting technique as well as talking about subconscious limiting belief because those will hold you back from your manifestation, so we definitely want to work on those too, and this is something I normally only work with my clients on, but I wanted to add this in for you, everyone joining today and tonight. So, the focus of tonight is going to be on where you want to be for summer 2021. So start to think, what does your life look like summer 2021? Not based on what happened in 2020, but based on where you in your heart want to go and be. Are you in a new city? Are you, do you have a new car? Do you have a new friend group? Are you in a new relationship? Is your relationship you're with um, now stronger with that new person? Is it a new job uh, in your bank account? Start to think about those things. Summer 2021, plant yourself there. What does your life look like, okay? And don't let the ego or the lies in your head say, no, you can't have that or you're dreaming too big. Those are limiting beliefs because you have conscious desires and subconscious limiting beliefs that will hold you back from believing you can have and achieve what is on your heart. But guess what? If it's on your heart, it is meant for you. It means you have everything within you to achieve it and the universe to conspire with you, to bring it together with you. Okay? Um, so start to think about that and write that down. If you have your journal and pen, write it down. Again, hone in on that new moon energy that's happening around us. Then at the end, I'm gonna take you through some self Reiki because limiting beliefs actually live within our body. So I want you to start to release that and remove that and cutting cords. So manifesting isn't just like writing down what you want. That is powerful on its own, but if you want to take it to another notch, we're gonna take you to it tonight. And in this video, we're gonna do cord cutting, releasing the people, the opinions, the thoughts, the limiting beliefs that are holding you back from actually believing that you can have that dream of your life in summer 2021, as well as the visualization technique taking you there. All right, are we ready? Let's go. I want you to find yourself in a comfortable position. You can be seated or you can be lying down for this. And I just want you to close your eyes and allow my voice to guide you on this journey. And with your eyes closed, part of manifesting is raising our vibration. So taking in three deep inhales through the nose and exhaling out the breath. Raise your vibration to cleanse and clear your energy and your cells. Just following that breath so you can release any other thoughts that might be happening and just bring them to the present, to the now, right here. And as you take those deep breaths in and out, bringing your hands to your heart and just connecting to your heart and feeling your heart, the strength of your heart, the power of your heart. Why this is important is because we live so much up in our head, but we want to start to get on the emotional frequency and vibration, which is what the law of attraction in the universe is always responding to, of gratitude. So feeling grateful for people, for things, accomplishments, achievements in your life from the past and now. So we start to tune our energetic body right now to gratitude. 
So you can go back to a point in time, maybe yesterday or in your childhood too, of a memory that brings you such great joy, thankfulness, appreciation. Tap into that gratitude emotion. And start to visualize and see the things and the people that you're grateful for so we can work our imagination and the visualization. Keep breathing, you're doing really, really good. Stay with it. Now keeping your body in this gratitude frequency. Send the gratitude into a picture in your mind of summer 2021. Of what you're thinking about that you desire to have in regards to relationships with maybe family and friends. What does that look like? See it in a day of summer 2021. Maybe you're in your new house and your new friend group is there and they're congratulating you on your raise or the school you got into. See this through your own eyes and really be in that picture in that movie but get your body your energy because we're not just mind or mind or body and we're energy into this visualization so feeling so grateful for your accomplishments your achievements what you have play this out be there and turn up the emotions of gratitude, of joy. There should be a big smile across your face. Maybe you're looking up your bank account right now and it's you've never seen that much money in it before. What does that feel like? Let yourself feel the feels. The energy, the emotions are so important in this process. Tap into that. Breathe life into that visualization, that feeling. So not only are you wiring this into your subconscious mind and your subconscious has to create your reality for you, looking for the opportunities, the people, the experiences that match what you believe in, believing that this is already yours, it's already on its way. But also your energy, your emotional body, getting yourself there. So you're hitting all levels. Good job, stay with it. Stay with that visualization, stay with the feelings. Of that clear image, that clear picture of your summer 2021, where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, what limiting beliefs are coming in your head? Uh, that little voice that's saying, you can't have that, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough, that's not available to you. That little voice that is going to hold you back, that's your subconscious limiting belief, sub meaning below consciousness. Meaning it's a really tiny whisper, but it's a very strong resistant, very strong block. Because our subconscious, we run off of it 95% of our day, so tune into that. Maybe it's something your parents said to you when you're younger that you have to work really, really hard for money and to be successful. So what you're imagining, what you're seeing, your subconscious is going to hold you back because it's just not possible to work that hard and get it by summer 2021. That's where I want you to dig into. That's where I want you to start to delve into the subconscious limiting beliefs. Maybe it's opinions of others. Don't take on their limiting beliefs that life has to be hard or you're never going to be rich or you can't get into the school you want or there's no true love exists anymore. Those are limiting beliefs and they're not yours or from other people unless you want to believe them 
what thoughts in your head will limit you from having that dream? So I want you to just locate in your body where those limiting beliefs live and that might seem weird or feel weird but we are energy and it's just an area that is dense or tense or feels like pain it might be in your neck it might be in your heart it might be in your throat it might be in your root or solar plexus chakra or even in your crown chakra so just place one hand from your heart and one hand to that area that you feel this tension or tightness in because your heart is a true pure love and you have that desire on your heart for a reason the love from your heart send it to that area of tension tightness and just feel the love from your heart going to that area healing cleansing realigning your energy transmuting that dense energy that of limiting beliefs that aren't yours of opinions from others of fears of worry of doubt those are all limits so using the power of your own energy, this is like self Reiki, to move that energy around. So take those deep breaths in and out and breathe that energy out through your body. <sighs> keep breathing and keep feeling. If you really attune to your inner body, your inner energy, you'll feel that energy start to break up, to move around. We need to transmute the energy. If you're really tapping into just feel that energy pull down, down out through your legs, out through the feet, down into Mother Earth to recycle the energy. As energy cannot be created nor destroyed, recycle it. Let it out, let it go. And now is there any people, any experiences, any past experiences or memories that are holding you back? from moving forward, from taking action on these dreams, these goals for your summer 2021. Because law of action is just as important. You have to take steps to move forward. So what is gonna hold you back from moving forward? I just want you to see those people, those thoughts, those past experiences, and place them in a bubble. See them in your mind, place them in a bubble have it away from you and in this bubble have a cord attaching right to your center, your solar plexus. This bubble of people, things you need to let go of. And this is a cord cutting. So a cord connected to you and this bubble and scissors or those big long cutters, snip and cut that cord and just start to see that bubble vanish and get smaller and smaller and smaller till you no longer see it anymore and the root of the cord if it's in your center pull it out till there's nothing there anymore attaching you all the things you're releasing and letting go of and breathe that energy through out and around And now, as it's always powerful to set intentions for everyone watching this, a part of this, so not only are you getting your powerful, powerful energy with the energy from the universe around us, but everyone is part of the video doing this together. Even if you're catching the replay, one hand on your heart, again, so powerful, the other hand facing away from you so you can receive and you can give and setting the intention, you can say it out loud or say it in your mind. Everyone a part of this, everyone and anyone may their dreams and manifestations come true. Setting the intention, anyone a part of this, may their dreams and manifestations come true. Give the energy, receive the energy, and trust and know you've done your part. You set the signal off to the universe. Now it's your time to have an open mind, open heart to your intuition, to what the universe is bringing you, to take action and keep moving forward, taking steps and steps to your summer 2021 dreams, vision, and goals. Bring your hands to your heart with a big smile on your face and blinking your beautiful eyes to open. 
for love. Very good, very nice. So that's getting your mind, your body, your energy all attuned to your dreams and manifestations of your summer 2021. Also releasing, cleansing, and clearing, right? We want to work through that shadow side of us, our past that is holding us back. Your past does not dictate your future unless you let it. So healing, overcoming from past experiences, significant events, healing from childhood, limiting beliefs, it is such a huge part of the process. And when I took my rapid transformational therapy and learned about the subconscious mind, I was like, this is the missing piece for manifesting. I just, it all clicked like, wow, if you truly don't believe that you can have what you dream and achieve, it's not gonna come. And if you're suffering from anxiety or lack of confidence and lots of self-doubt or not belief in yourself, you're going to choose to binge on Netflix and not take any action or move forward with confidence if you work through those limiting beliefs and install empowering beliefs instead. So, so mindset work, it's self-development, it's self-improvement, and it's so, so powerful. So work with the shadow side of you, bring light to it, and this was just 